What's up, YouTube? My name's Chance. The channel is Chance Bishops Breaks, and today uh, we have ourselves a retail box of 2023 uh, Series 2 Tops Baseball. Uh, we've already ripped into two hobby boxes of Series 2, and going along with the theme of Series 1, where we ripped open uh, two hobby and two retail boxes, uh, we're going to do the same here for uh, Series 2. As well as most likely update <laughs> when update probably uh, rolls around at this rate, probably almost probably in December now at this point. By the time I guess cards are coming out, yeah, I think this time last year, a Stadium Club was at least announced. I mean, sure it didn't come out; it was delayed by hello. Come on, retail box, work with me. Come on, you can. Packs are all just kind of thrown in there. I try to make this nice and fun, but uh, apparently I can't quite do that because the packs are in the way. There we go. It's... Yep, that's what we're going to do. There we go. Figured it out. That's what we're going to do. Uh, so retail box retailed for just under a hobby box. I believe it's 83 uh, 83 dollars $84.99. Alright, come on. Packs are already pain in the butt. Uh, we're starting off with a retail exclusive insert. Uh, we have a Michael Harris MLB Stars Rookie. Everything is a red parallel on that one as well. So we put the pack backwards. Uh, maybe that's a Volpe Red. Uh, Torkelson Gallo has an Alvarez Rookie. Let me actually make my pile of rookies to sleeve up. Diaz, Hudson, uh, Webb, uh, the Rays, Machado, Boxberger, uh, Tarnock, Perdomo, a Will Benson. Ooh, Will Benson's not a bad one at all, actually. Color match, Will Benson, red rookie. Okay. Benson, the 199. He's pretty hot right now for the Reds. I just loaded with inserts. We have a Chrome Verlander. Uh, Verlander, jeez, Louise. Sorry, I just worked almost like I worked an 11-hour shift. I guess taking an 11 and a half hour shift. It's currently 6:45 a.m. I'm a little tired. That's Clayton Kershaw and Derek Jeter. Not nowhere close to, uh, nowhere close to Verlander. I am uh, absolutely losing my mind. Apparently. Um, Another thing I found out too for series two, opposed to series one, the gold mirrors, the gold labels. Uh, they are gold mirrors technically. That's what the inserts called gold mirror. Uh, we have ourselves a Oscar Gonzalez for Cleveland. Uh, Suarez Bassett. Uh, we have Ford Proctor rookie. Good old Ford Proctor, uh, Bichette, Kilroth, Louie, O'Reilly. We have Oswaldo Cabrera, rookie. Uh, Polanco, Trey Mancini, Victor Robles, Walker Buehler, Corbin Carroll, big rookie right there for Corbin Carroll. Uh, Jesus Luzardo, and a Dale Murphy throwback insert. Uh, but the Gold Mirror Super Short Prints... Uh, they're no longer gold, so the Topps logo used to be gold. That was the big giveaway. Uh, not anymore, apparently. Now they are uh, silver just like everything else. You actually have to now check the backs of all the cards uh, for any gold mirrors to make sure that it's a gold mirror, a super short print. You'll find a nicer way to open these so we're not... Spoiling the back card uh, every time. Uh, Rafael Ortega, Newman. We have a Kerry Carpenter. Kerry Carpenter, I think he's on another Tigers uh, super short print. Kerry Carpenter. Ramon Urias, the Twins, the Reds, the White Sox. Uh, Keegan, Craig. We have ourselves a Harrison Bader. Good old Bader. Uh, let's see, uh, Diaz, Watkins, Kyle Schwerber, Luis Liberato, there's a retail blue Donnie Sands, 
Uh, wrong Mets catcher is Avado. So wrong Mets catcher. Looking for Francisco Alvarez. And there is a Votto on uh, the insert right there. Of course, two Phillies in the pack. Not uh, the super short print we're looking for. We're not looking for looking for Craig Kimbrell, where he's throwing a football around. We're looking for drawing a blank on what the what uh, Schwarber's is. I think Schwarber's is a close up of him. Could uh, could be wrong. I mean, most likely I'm wrong. I'm usually wrong a lot when it comes to the channel. Uh, we have a Groshans rookie. Good old Jordan. Uh, PJ uh, Tosugo. Perez Senzel. Waka Reynolds. Cody Sanga. Good old Kodai Sanga. Uh, rookie right there. Savali. Dylan Carlson. Uh, Flip. Uh, Rosario, Verlander, Nick Gordon. Here we have LeBlanc, Detmers, and a Machado. Good old uh, Machado right there. Uh, you, you like uh, you like what you see right there uh, with the Padres currently, where they have the second most expensive team in baseball. I want to say. I know it's the Mets are number one. I know. I think the Yankees sit at three. I believe it's I believe it's Mets, Padres, Yankees. Uh, Freeland, who's now a Philly, I believe, right? Rosarena, Jonathan Scope, Garcia, Garcia, Dunning, uh, Frambler, Jordan Walker, rookie, good old Jordan Walker, uh, Miguel Rojas, Taiwan Walker, uh, Jihuan Bay, Austin Hayes. Adam Aller, we have MLB Stars Rizzo Chrome, and a, a Yoshida. There you go. Good old Yoshida rookie insert right there. Stars of MLB Yoshida. He's doing fairly well, I believe, last time I checked for, um, for the Red Sox. I don't know what Walker's SSP looks like. As well as ones where I probably looked at it, went, okay, that's an SSP, and then... <laughs> Have instantly forgotten uh, what it what it looked like. We have a Philly on the back. There's Castellanos. Don't have a college degree. I hit baseballs. Uh, Darno, Pinder, Hayden, uh, the Brewers walk off. Uh, Daniel Bard, Alec Thomas, uh, Mariners, Drew Smiley, good old Joe Musgrove, Curry. TJ Friedel. We have a gold parallel right here of uh, Nate Eaton. 1702 of 2023. As well as Kyle Schwerber, stars of MLB. Good old ad right there to the good old Phillies PC. Always like adding Phillies to the PC, even if they are just the base cards. Um, but just like, just like having them in the PC. Having the base cards, the inserts, uh, always, always fun to add. Now, if you see my mail days, I believe like nine times out of ten, uh, like the mail day is just either. Oh boy, there we go. That was aggressive. I'm not like how uh, mean that pack was to open. Corners okay. Uh, corners appear to be okay. Maldonado, Guriel, Lynch. Uh, Spencer Steer. I believe we had a Steer red last time. De La Cruz, D.L. Hall, Rafigno, uh, Diaz, uh, Ortiz, Madrigal, Josh Bell, Bryce Johnson. Uh, blue parallel there of second base catcher. It's going to be Ford Proctor. Good old Ford Proctor. Blue insert. Uh, Jimenez. All aces is going to be Satchel Page is a nice one right there. And Corbin Carroll, stars of MLB. And a security tag. I like on Twitter, uh, when I see people who don't rip cards, who are just, I guess, opening cards to because they see things on Twitter, or they hear about you know massive, expensive pulls, and they get those... Uh, they get those security tags, and they're like, uh, what's... 
Uh, what's this? It's is this some weird SSP? It's not on the it's not on the checklist or I can't find out what it is. And I was like, it's a security tag. Well, they have like the ones you get in retail, like the really thin ones. People get confused with those all the time. Joe Adele, Jeff McNeil, Ronnie. Um, all right, Nolan. We got a Slam Diego a Springer. Uh, Jose, JP, Marlins. Good old Joey Bart, Akil Badu, Semyon, uh, Michael Brantley, Taylor Walls. We have a Ha Song Kim for Korea, South Korea. Ha Song Kim. And a, a Salvi, Stars of MLB. Good old Ha Song Kim. Uh, insert right there for the World Baseball Classic. So I, I like I like that insert set right there. World Baseball Classic, uh, Cam shortstop number fifty, and uh, the set. I'm assuming if it's fifty cards at least, it's a pretty big. It's a pretty big set to have a fifty card, you know, insert set. All right, Newt Will. MJ Garcia. Uh, we have a Tovar, Ohape, Varsho, Giancarlo, uh, Michael, Luis Castillo, Javi Baez, Harold Ramirez, Yuli Goriel, Kevin Biggio. We have a Ricky 35th and a Cassius a Rookie, Stars of MLB. Good old uh, Cassius right there. And Ricky, everyone likes Ricky Henderson. Ricky Henderson, one of those. Uh, way too big personalities. You know, the only one that can catch Ricky is Ricky. Uh, and Ricky's the best player since for Ricky of all time. Talked about himself in third person. You know, kind of to the ire of teammates. You know, he... Uh, he was, uh... He was a one-man party, Ricky Henderson. Whenever you hear stories about... Uh, about him. Uh, France, Castro... Uh, the Pirates, uh, Victor Reyes, Colton Wong. Uh, flip it over. Brian Anderson, Garrett Mitchell, rookie. That's a pretty decent one there. Flip it over. Barnes, Josh Young. Again, Series 2, absolutely loaded with rookies. Kyle Isbell. Kyle Schwarber. There you go. Home run. Challenge there. Thank Thankfully, we didn't get a third uh, Jazz Chisholm. Jordan and a Oswaldo Peraza, 35th. So good old Jordan. Uh, stars of MLB right there. Uh, but, you know, you got to love it right there. You got to love when you get those home run challenge cards. And it just absolutely just does not, just doesn't go in your favor. Like, they had Buster Posey's last year, and Buster Posey retired, and they're like, yeah, we won't, uh, we won't fix it. If you get a Buster Posey, you just get a Buster Posey. You're kind of beat. Uh, Colas, uh, Fletcher, Taylor Hearn, Jose Abreu. Uh, we got Granky, Contreras, uh, Taglia, Jorge Soler. We have Peralta and an Alec Manoa sent down to single A. Uh, Manoa getting the Roy Halladay treatment. And before Hall of Famer Roy Halladay was Hall of Famer Roy Halladay, he was a flash-in-the-pan rookie who did really good and then struggled mightily. Got sent down to single A straight out of spring training one year. I think like 2002-ish, I want to say, uh, was the year he got sent down to single A out of uh, spring training. Uh, but got sent down to single A and then just worked his way up. Jose, Jose Bado, Budo, uh, the Astros, uh, the Phillies, teammates, good old teammates card right there of Marsh and Harper. Uh, making our way through that. McCarthy, Jan Gomes, Wilson, uh, Diaz, Dalbic, and a Bogarts. Uh, Bogart's also underperforming so far in his first year of his massive 11-year 11, 11 deal with the Padres to play shortstop for them. 
you know, so massive and such a big deal that they had to send uh, Tatis to the outfield to make make room for him. So, yeah, not a, I don't know, not a move I would have honestly gone with, but I'm not the GM of the Padres. I'm also not the reason they got their uh, licensing agreement with the uh, local media cut. That's another thing to also happen, by the way, in case you guys aren't tracking on it. Uh, the Padres, you know, teams have their... This is like the same pack we just had. Dalbeck and an Eloy. That was literally just the same pack, I believe. I believe we actually just had this pack almost verbatim. Uh, Strickland, Eaton. At least the majority of that pack was very the same. Like the Wilson, the Jan Gomes, the McCarthy. Uh, very... Very similar packs. They're very strange to have them almost identically back to back. It seems like um, very weird correlation on uh, uh, that run of packs. Kata Myers got DFA'd. Felix Bautista is that a rookie? Not a not a rookie for Felix Bautista. Could have sworn he had a. I guess rookie was last year. All right, uh, Wheeler not an SSP. Pena Alejandro Kirk. Kopech, Drew Waters, Moose, also DFA'd, Lance Lynn, Jordan Alvarez, there you go, it's a Jordan, good old Jordan Alvarez, home run derby card, we have a Castellanos, what is that, that's gonna be, oh, is that a, yep, there it is, uh, we have Gabriel Moreno, let's do that rookie, start with MLB, uh, let's go to Twitter right now, because we don't understand how to read, uh, what is this parallel? It says out of 300. I can't tell what the parallel is. Can someone help me tell what this parallel is? You know, I, ca I can't tell the differences, honestly, with this Castellanos parallel. Is anyone able to help me out? Somebody, anybody? No? Okay, that joke's overplayed. Sorry. I'll, uh, I'll stop being mean to people. That's, uh, kind of my niche market right there. Uh, just making fun of people that can't understand parallels or, uh, figure out how to check SSPs and stuff. Or the people that every time they see a card, no matter what it is, it could be like a card from the 80s, and it's definitely not satire. I could tell if it's satire or not. And it's like, oh man, found this weird 80s short print, or 80s error. You know, is this uh, is this card worth anything? And it's, you know, 90% of the time, no. Not, not worth the paper it's printed on. It's like, alright, Kyle Wright, Tony Kemp, Morris. Oh, we have an Anthony Rizzo. Uh, favorite son for Florida, Anthony Rizzo, uh, insert, and an Austin O'Reilly, stars of MLB. Good old Austin O'Reilly right there. Uh, you like to see, I think Austin O'Reilly's doing fairly well this season last time I checked. I don't know, he's one of those players that always seems like it pops up, like Bray and goes, oh, he's an MVP because he... He hit 240 with 38 home runs and 120 RBIs. It's like, yeah, but he also hit 240. He hit 240 and, you know, averages and everything, you know, in 2023, but can't can't hit 240. That's just something that you can't do. Something shiny in there. It's probably just the, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, Ryan Creed, I believe it's Creedler's SSP has um, Carpenter. Uh, Longo, who joined some really weird club recently where he's only, or he knows, 21 doubles and he's... Nine home runs away. Miguel Cabrera. What is a gunner? Let's put those to the side. Gunner Henderson. Stars of MLB. Gunner Henderson, a rookie. Uh, but he's like 21 doubles and nine home runs away from being the only player besides, I believe it's uh, Adrian Beltre to have 350 doubles or... No, it's 450 doubles and 350 home runs. Just like a very, very strange stat line, honestly. Um, I mean, it's cool that, you know, it's a very uh, not common stat line. Unless it's... It has to be for third base. It honestly it has to be like a third baseman stat line. Because you got to think, of all the 500 home run hitters, you got to think that none of the other ones have... Ooh, that's a really... That is a real beat-up card right there. What happened there? What happened to uh, Rodolfo Castro? Rodolfo did not... 
Did not have a good time for Rodolfo. That's going straight to the trash pile. Uh, sorry there, Rodolfo. Uh, Lodolo did fine. Uh, Rendon, Chris Archer, Bo Naylor, uh, Bregman, Victor Carantini. Uh, we have ourselves a Vladdy Jr. Any road game, I'm fine for that one. It's not a home game. Uh, Stan Musial and a Jose Altuve. Uh, stars of MLB. Watch that Rodolfo be an SSP. Nope, not the SSP, thankfully. That's just that's going to be my luck, though, is I would get the SSP Rodolfo Castro, and it would be the one that's like just super gnarly, uh, super messed up. Probably could send that back to Tops to get a replacement, where they would send like, oh, yeah, we can't replace this, so here's this pack of 2012 opening day Tops, uh, and here's, you know, here's some uh, penny sleeves. Max Meyer, Cueto, Belt, um, Pollock, Andrew Heaney, Burleson, McCutcheon. You could get traded sooner rather than later. James Altman, the man who had a very expensive team rookie for a couple weeks. Uh, Manaya, uh, Busick, and a Rizzo. Stars of MLB. Well, it's been a minute since we've pulled a chrome one. We've pulled a couple chromes, but it's been a, been a few packs, honestly, since we've gotten one. So, hopefully, uh, they can pull another couple good chromes in this one. Looking for, you know, of course, top rookies, stuff like that. Flip it over. Alright, there's our Miguel Cabrera. Uh, Strider. Uh, Vientos Walsh, good old Donnie Sands. Why do I think Donnie Sands was a, was a Met, it's a Tiger uniform? I could have sworn that was a Met uniform. Uh, Frazier, Trey Turner, not SSP, Connor Joe, Christian Arroyo, Mitch Keller, Bubba Thompson, uh, Dansby, Jameson. We have a Luzardo, a rainbow refractor right there. A rainbow parallel. Uh, Drew Waters, 35th anniversary rookie. And a Miggy. Good old Mickey, uh, Miggy right there. I almost said Mickey. Uh, Miggy, Miguel Cabrera. You like to see Miguel Cabrera right there. Yeah, yeah, I think this is his last season, right? Like, like Miguel's not playing after this season, right? Like, his contract's up. You know, he's going to retire. He's going to... The man I forget all the time is actually a Rocky, Chris Bryant. Uh, Hater, Bailey Falter, rookie, not an SSP. Uh, Falter's SSP is him as like a, uh, like a, like a 90s thing. A very 90s shirt. Dalton Guthrie, now a member of the Giants, got DFA'd. Uh, McKenzie, Quitty, Voigt, cool. Padres, a rainbow refractor. Ooh, double parallels in the same pack. We have a Louis Varland orange and a Chris Bryant. Oh boy, Chris, you can go there. Uh, two parallels. We have the San Diego rainbow. Uh, we have uh, the Louis Varland rookie to 299. Good old Louis Varland right there for the twins. I uh, got a Gotta love the Twins, right? They're doing something, right? I really don't know. I don't really follow the Twins that often, so I really don't know what the Twins are up to right now. Uh, I think they're... If as long as I remember correctly, I think they're... Aren't the Twins one of those teams that it's like, oh, every year it's like going to be their year to take the division, and then they never actually do anything to take the division to be that team? Uh, Shohei, who's that? Stone Garrett. Nelson, Josh Harrison, Evaldi. Flip. Uh, JD, Will Benson. Come on. Pineda, Vasquez, Nimmo, Brennan Davis, Francisco Lindor, and a Correa. Who uh, I believe is also struggling very, uh, very mightily for the, uh, for the Twins. You know, sign that, you know, opted out, sign that big extension to go back after, you know, do what the Mets fell through. 
So he signed that extension. And then he really hasn't lived up to that extension either. No, I'm not saying, uh, kind of upset that it hasn't been the Mets, but, you know, could you just imagine uh, the dumpster fire the Mets would be if they had Javi Baez, Francisco Lindor, and a struggling Carlos Correa on the team? That would be honestly one of the best teams as a Yoshida rookie. Good old Yoshida rookie. Astori Ruiz doing really well. I think he's only a couple a couple stolen bases away from uh, last season's. Now we have a Stanton. Uh, yeah, I think the league leader last year in stolen bases was 42 stolen bases from John Birdie. And I think Ruiz is already at like 36 or something. He's He's doing really well. Um, yeah, he's doing really well on a very bad Oakland A's team. I have got two packs left. One, two. Get rid of the box. All right, put back to the side. Don't worry. Uh, no one is getting ripped off. No one is getting their cards stolen or finagled. Um, I open up all the packs for myself. I buy the packs for myself. Uh, Topin on the channel. So... Don't, uh, there's a Volpe rookie. Good old Volpe. Of course, not not the SSP we're looking for. Uh, Bryce Terang rookie. Uh, Fuja. Uh, Shintaro. Yeah, instead of Shintaro, I'm not going to butcher his last name. Kyle. Uh, Matt. Kike. David Bedner. Significant statistics. We have a. Home plate to first base, 4.01 seconds. Garrett Mitchell, or rookie insert. Now we have a DeGrom with the Rangers. Not pitching next until the year 2025. Uh, if he's lucky, 2024 is going to be a wash thanks to uh, Tommy John surgery. But, I don't know. I think... Uh, as much as I really wish the Phillies kind of signed him in the offseason, I thought it would be like a great signing, just a dominant pitcher. I think I'm like an absolutely dominant pitcher right there uh, for them to sign. But kind of glad they didn't sign him. Uh, Dre Jameson, Gallon, out of Vino. Uh, Rasmussen, Rosario, Gilbert, Jake Fraley, Estrada, you have Shohei Otani, good old Otani right there for the World Baseball Classic, and future Philly Paul Goldschmidt for the Stars of MLB. Uh, so if you guys did enjoy this opening, hit that like button comment down below what you thought about the opening and until next time youtube though peace out rock on stay super classy and we'll catch you on the next opening